We are just estimating today. So 412 divided by 97. I'm going to do it as easy as I can. I'm going to say 400 divided by 100. That makes it pretty easy, right? What do you think 400 divided by 100 is? Four. So 400 divided by 100. So if I have 400 cupcakes and 100 people, everybody can get four cupcakes. So I can also do this, Annalie. I can hide these zeros, and I can do 4 divided by 1. So if I have 4 divided by 1, here's my 1. I'm going to divide 4 up into 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. So 400 divided by 100 is still 4. Alright, and my next one, I have 83 going into 237. So I'm going to change my problem. I'm going to turn my 237 into 240. And I'm going to turn my 83 into 80 just because I know this math fact. Do you guys know this math fact? 8 times 3. Does anybody know 8 times 3? 24. 24, nice. So 80 into 240, so 8 goes into 24 three times. So 80 goes into 240 also three times. So my answer is going to be this is my estimate, right? My answer is three. I just changed this problem into an easier problem. And my answer is three. Three times 80, so I say three times zero is zero. Three times eight is 24. And I subtract, I have a remainder of zero. But I'm not going to write my answer here because these are two different problems. I'm just going to leave my answer right there. And here's my next one, 31 into 458. So I'm going to try and do this problem instead. I'm going to say 30 into 450. So I know it's, it's a little close, it's, it's not super close, but I know 30 is 15 plus 15. And I know 450, I know 45 is 15 plus 15 plus 15. So I see a little math factor there. So I'm going to say, can 30 go into 45? Yes, it can go in one time. So 1 times 30 is 30. I subtract. I have, sorry, I have 15. I have 5, I bring down my 1, and I bring down my 0. Can 30 go into 150? So I'm going to say 3 times 5 is 15, so 5 times 30 is 150. I subtract, I get 0, so my answer is 15. Am I going too fast? No. No? Okay. You got this, Jonathan? Are you are you doing homework with us too, Jonathan? All right, I'm going to go on to the back. All right, the Booster Club is having a bake sale. Oops, sorry. The Booster Club is having a bake sale. The members place 25 baked goods in each bag. There are 630 baked goods, baked goods donated. About how many bags will the club have for sale? So we have to figure out how many bags they're selling on their bake sale. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I got the right 
Okay, so we're going to do about 630 divided by 25. So I don't want to go down because I want to make sure I have enough bags. So I'm going to have Six hundred and fifty divided by twenty five to make sure I have enough. So I'm going to say six hundred and fifty divided by twenty five. I'm going to do my math over here. So 25 goes into 65 two times. Three times would be 75. That would be too big. So 2 is going to be 50. I will subtract. I'm going to bring down my 1, my 5, and my 50. 25 goes into 150. So I could just count by 25s, right? 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. So 6 times. But I'm going to double check. 6 times 5 is 30. I'll carry my 3. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. I subtract, I get 0. I wrote all over my other problem. Sorry. So 26 bags. Maybe if I was buying bags, I might buy 30 just to make sure I had enough. So now we have a farmer with 212 acres. He's going to divide it up into 18 equal pieces, about how many acres are in each one. So 212 is about 200, and 18 is about 20. So I'm going to have 200 divided by 20. I know these problems look really, really confusing. But if I just hide this 20 here, I'm going to say 20 divided by 20 is 1. If I have 20 cupcakes and 20 friends, each friend gets one cupcake. So, but I don't have 20, I have 200. So I'm going to put my 1 and add that 0 back in. It's just my little math trick. So about 10 acres in each section. Sorry, and I'm like looking at my math book. You guys might have different problems than I have. Do you have these same problems, Anai? Anali? Yes. Yes, it is the same problems. Okay. It's weird on my math answer sheet book. They look like different. They just changed one of them. All right, so here's Alexander. He has 14, 418 songs on his MP3 three player. He divides them up into 11 equal groups. But we're going to make this real easier. Instead of 418 songs, let's have 400 songs. And instead of dividing it into 11 groups, I'm going to put them into 10 groups. So now I'm going to hide my zero here for a minute. 40 divided by 10. So if I have 40, 4. So if I have 40, I divide it up in 10, I have 4. And then I have to put my 0 back there. So 400 divided by 10 equals 40. You could double check this by saying, is 40 times 10 400? Yes. And he has about 40 songs in each group. My next one, number eight, it says a restaurant restaurant ordered 833 ounces of chicken. There are 16 ounces in a pound. About how many pounds of chicken did the restaurant order? So there's about 800 ounces of chicken. And I'm going to divide it up into a pound, which is 16 ounces. But 16 is close to 20. So I'll estimate. 800 divided by 20. How about 8 divided by 2? Do you guys know 8 divided by 2? Is 4, right? 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 divided by 2, I'm going to hide these zeros. 8 divided by 4, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I 
these zeros, both of them had a zero, so I won't add an extra zero because they both had a zero. But this one has one more zero than that one. This one has one zero, this one has two. So I do need just one zero in my answer, not the two. And so this is going to be how many pounds of chicken? 40 pounds of chicken. So my last problem, it says Mrs. Robbins has 600 sheets of paper for a project. She has 48 student, students. Which is the best estimate for a number of sheets of paper she can give to each student? So we're going to estimate. If she had 10 to each student, times 48 students, that would be 480 sheets of paper. Right? If she had 12 times 48 students, if I'm estimating, I would say maybe 10 for, I'd say 12 for 50 students. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. So if I'd say we're going to estimate 12 times 5, that'd be 600, right? Which is my, my answer there. 15 times 48, 15 times 5 is going to be, by 15 plus 15 is 30. And 30 plus 30 is 60. So one more is going to be 75. That's going to give me 750 sheets. Too many. 20 sheets times 48, which is almost 50. 20 times 50 is going to be 10. Is going to be 1,000 sheets of paper. So that's just too many. So let's see. If she had 12 sheets of paper times 48 students, I'm going to double check it just to make sure. She has 12 sheets of paper times 48 students, but we're going to say times 50 students. So two, we're going to put our zero. Two times five is 10. I carry my one. Five times one is five plus one is six. So 600. So I'm going to say the best answer is that 12 sheets, 600. That's about right. And we're done.